Arm okay? What happened in not playing in the second half? Was that your call? Or? Yeah, um, just landing out of funny, uh, dinging up a little bit. Um, nothing too bad. Uh, it was just for precautionary reasons. I uh, want to get some of the younger guys involved, like Damon and Tyler. And, um, you know, I wanted to go back in, but it was coach's decision. And um, just wanted to play it safe. So next week, you're good? Yeah. Good. Quick question for Coach Warner. When um, Gerald came down, they scored the touchdown, and then you went to LJ Scott, he got his second fumble. I'm just curious. I know you usually like to ride the hot hand. Was Did Gerald get injured on that touchdown? No, he didn't. Okay. Kind of the exact play that you got hurt on. Was that the completed pass where you land on your right shoulder? Yeah. And then going from there, the treatment on the sideline, was it something where it's just popped out, or is it just something that's going to take time to heal? Um, yeah, there was no popping out of any, any sort or any kind. Um, they just kind of looked at it and moved around a little bit, and, um, and that was that. Got to look at it again. But, I mean, um, there's no – I mean, I'll be fine to go next week. I'll be good. Dave, uh, how much did the – he took a lot of hits in the first half and the inability to protect Connor to play in the decision not to use him in the second half? Well, it was a situation when he came out in the second half. He was, uh, you know, he was uh, hurting a little bit, but uh, they were pressuring. Uh, we felt like we uh, were going to be able to run the football and uh, felt like we could uh, play it safe and get Tyler in there, get him some experience. Riley, can you just talk a little bit about the defense? I mean, I know all week you guys were concentrating and talking about uh, making a statement, and it looks like you were able to do that in this game. Yeah, you know, after last week, obviously it was a letdown, a defensive side of the ball. Um, so, yeah, we were preaching all week, statement game. We want to come out and play fast and physical. Um, you know, how Spartan Dogs play defense. I think we did that for the most part um, today. Um, so just going forward, we got to keep getting better. But, you know, we got to keep that intensity that we had today. Um, through practice and through, you know, the rest of the games. Mike, um, obviously this wasn't the greatest quarterback situation for them, but to have a game where the defense did get off the field a number of times in a row and felt good about itself all the way through, how important was that after last week? Well, football is so much a game of confidence. Uh, you, you need to, if you want to be successful, you need to be in situations where you have success and then build on that momentum. Uh, the biggest thing to me was the guys did play fast, they did play physical, uh, they did try to dominate. That, that was the mentality. And then turnovers, took the ball away. So you, we leave with confidence. That's big. Hey, Riley, back here. Uh, can you kind of take us – oh, right here. Yeah, can you take us through that pick six, and do you think it changed the momentum of the game? Uh, yeah, I think it did. Um, a lot of things were happening at that point. Um, you know, I was, just, I was a hot player to the short side of the field, so I didn't have as much uh, field to work with. Just read the quarterback. Um, you know, made the catch down the sideline. I think Darian Hicks made a great block for me. Uh, so it was pretty open. Um, just, you know, just try to get in the end zone. Riley, most of the game, both linebackers Yeah, I think it might have too. And uh, we were showing our blitz, and the quarterback kind of checked it. And I think we confused him a little bit. He thought we might have changed the blitz to the other side, uh, but we kept it on. Um, yeah, so like you said, I came out. I was a hot player, so I was able to read the quarterback and make the play. Mike, the secondary um, obviously played well, but it, it seemed like that four guys of, with Colhoun and um, Hicks in at corner and Cox and, and Nicholson seemed to play pretty well. Um, but you still rotated, got a lot of guys in. Did you, did you think about sticking just with those four guys a little more, or how do you think they played overall? You know, it's a fine line. When you get guys that are playing well together and, and they're gelling, you want to stick with that. But we also know that over the course of – the rest of this season, which hopefully is longer than, you know, uh, we're going to need more guys. We're going to need more guys. So when you have the opportunity to get extra guys' experience, especially Amani Medeiros, who hasn't had that much experience on defense, or Tyson Smith, who's a freshman, you need to take advantage of those opportunities. So we will also, when guys are working together, stick with it, but we need to have the other guys ready to roll. Connor, I apologize you've been asked about the injury, but what happened on the play, and then how much was that bothering you after you came back into the game? Um, just landed on a funny and um, just kind of felt a little um, just weak at that point and then came off the sideline, got it checked out. Uh, there was nothing serious, nothing wrong, went back in, and it really didn't affect me at all. Um, I mean, there was a little pain here and there, but, I mean, it was nothing where I, I couldn't, you know, deliver a pass. Mm -hmm. 
Con Connor, to follow up on that, did you feel like you could have gone in the second half there? Or was it a, a precautionary thing for Stana? Yeah, I said that before. Um, felt like I could have gone. Um, felt confident in my abilities and in my arm and, and my health. Um, but Coach G just wanted to you know, play it safe and, and just um, keep me on the sideline uh, for precautionary reasons. Coach Tressel, can you talk a little bit about uh, after this performance, maybe how much better you feel about the defense going into Ohio State? Well, I've always believed in these guys. That's first and foremost. Uh, and, and they believe in each other. But there is something to having the confidence and being able to build on some momentum. I thought our defensive front really stepped it up. Uh, you look out there on the field, it seemed like they're in the backfield. We talked about playing on their side of the line of scrimmage today. I think they did that. Malik was pretty dominant. If we can eliminate a few offsides, I think we'll be ready to roll. Dave, can you just talk uh, about the offense? Sometimes when a, a team loses a player like Connor, even precautionary reasons, it, people may step it up a little bit. Is that what you thought might have happened with Connor out? Everybody may be raising the level of play up a little bit to get the run game going. Uh, you know, I, I think just overall we were, we were very sluggish today. Uh, we didn't start uh, very well, um, obviously. Um, we scored early, but then we went, went on a uh, drought. Uh, defense played great, got us the ball on the plus side of the 50 numerous times in the first half, and we really did nothing with it. Um, and then, uh, but to answer your question a little bit more, I guess, uh, yeah, you'd like for other guys to step up when you got to go to a backup quarterback in there. And I think, uh, uh, you know, we, we had a nice drive there in the second half, but uh, you need to do it consistently, and I don't think we did that. Dave, the decision to go with Tyler before the injury for that series, when it's still a 0 0 game. Mm -hmm. You talk about that a little bit and what went into that? Uh, it was just a precautionary deal with uh, Connor uh, coming into the game. Uh, a little bit, uh, uh, just wanted to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, we had him for the duration for the most part.